In 2001, Dr. Tim Hunt was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the discovery of key regulators of the cell cycle. As part of the inaugural AstraZeneca Nobel Medicine Initiative event at the University of Manchester and neighbouring AstraZeneca Research Centre, Alderley Park, Dr. Hunt gave a series of talks to students and research scientists. The AstraZeneca Nobel Medicine Initiative offers the opportunity for scientists and the general public to meet Nobel laureates and hear about their unique discoveries. This was actually a reviewer's comment on the, the Nobel Prize winning paper and it raises an interesting sort of wild speculation based on faulty logic is not the kind of thing you want your uh, peers to say about your work. But they were wrong and I was right so it made it okay. <laughs> Dr. Hunt took part in two days of talks and open discussions in early December 2010. Most of my great ideas have not come out of my head but from bumping into somebody in the tea room. The educational initiative is jointly driven by AstraZeneca and Nobel Media. It's fantastic to be able to show our young scientists that a person of, of Tim's caliber really would like to come here and share his passion for science. It's fantastic, he's a wonderful speaker, he's a very entertaining presence, he's utterly charming. When you see the high moments of energy in the room, when everybody's engaged and laughing, and that's when we connect together and the sparks um, come. I thought it was amazing, it's really inspiring. It's always really wonderful to hear from people who've been doing this for you know, a lifetime's worth. And what he talked about um, in a very engaging way was the, the, the maintenance of curiosity throughout a lifetime and despite um, you know, difficulties to, to persevere through. I like the metaphor also, it wasn't actually a metaphor, but the, uh, the burnt down lab. Then the really good thing happened, which was the lab burned down. And it was a pretty hot fire and it destroyed absolutely everything. He really described how he used that opportunity to start all over again. It freed their minds to think of other things and they got a breakthrough in their thinking that they would probably not have had had the fire not happened. It was a brilliant move. Sharing stories behind the Nobel Prizes and the work that went on before and afterwards offers invaluable inspiration for the next generation of scientists. Dr Hunt also got a chance to talk more informally with Manchester University students and directly answer any questions they had. What fields of science do you think in the future will allow sort of more, as it talks about scientific creativity, or allow sort of the brain to flow more? I think you, don't, you just have to sort of take a journey, and you know, the journey starts with putting one foot in front of the other. Dr Hunt's lecture to research scientists at Alderley Park was followed by a frank discussion about the relationship between science and the pharmaceutical industry. We had a great round table on, on Tim's request. We were discussing openness because that's, that's something that is really important for Tim and it's important for us as well. I actually suspect that it wouldn't make a blind bit of difference if you were totally open and told everybody about everything you were doing. The way forward is, is being more open and being more collaborative. The AstraZeneca Nobel Medicine Initiative is a global corporation that aims to increase understanding of the Nobel Prize and the achievements within the fields of physiology and medicine. The value that I see of the AstraZeneca Nobel Medicine Initiative is inspiring all generations to continue to do science, but particularly the generation of tomorrow. It's a way to open up and to, to broaden our views and to make the real important breakthroughs for the patients. You really do need to get people at the top of their game to kind of like speak to not just students and the staff, but the general public as well. I mean, it's a vital part of science outreach and it's just inspiring for everyone concerned. It just makes me keen to get back to the lab, I suppose. And that carries us forward on the days when the experiments aren't working, you know, the compounds haven't done what we hoped they would do, disappointing days, knowing that, that you know, you need that perseverance. And so that's the inspiration, and I think it was really motivational for everybody. Well, okay, Dr Hunt, thank you very much for answering my questions today. Well, thank you for your questions too, that was great. Thank you.